Today we're checking out our ultra popular 8.5x24 all aluminum car trailer. One question we get asked all the time is what's the big deal between the steel frame and the aluminum frame trailers? There's two factors in our opinion. The first is oxidation. Aluminum frame trailers will not oxidize like steel frame trailers will. The entire frame on this trailer, the floor, the roof, the walls, and obviously the tongue that you can see here, is entirely aluminum. The second factor here is weight. This particular trailer, since it's all aluminum, weighs about 1,100 pounds lighter than its steel frame counterpart. Now what you're looking at on this trailer is a particular package. Now the package comes with all your fancy exterior and interior trims that we'll take a look at throughout the video. The front of the trailer, we've got a 12 inch extended tongue, which comes in really handy for turning radius, especially if you've got an RV. The exterior, you've got a stone guard in the front that's standard and a motor base plug here. Now you take an electrical cord that we give you, plug it into the outside here and it'll power the inside of the trailer. You've got stainless steel corners and front wrap on the front of the trailer, it looks really nice as well. There are a number of different striking features on this trailer. We're just going to point out a few here. The first and foremost is going to be that it's got a screwless exterior. So there are no screws or rivets used in the exterior skin of this trailer, which gives it a really clean look looking down the side of the trailer. Full piano hinge side door with an RV door latch here. No bar lock, so it's a nice piano hinge. Open and close this. Nice pull-out aluminum step underneath. You just push this back in and stow it away. And this trim that's top and bottom here, it's a four inch upper trim and a seven inch lower trim. Now that is all riveted on. So there's no screws used in the outside. You almost have to see some of these detail pieces for yourself just to see the quality behind here. Now looking at the side of the trailer, you can see we've got this spread axle design. Now what that allows us to do is two things. One, it allows us to put these nice fenderettes on and trim out with this perimeter skirting and fenderette package as shown. But the second thing is weight displacement. Now by spreading apart the axles 8 inches, even though it's not much more than the standard axle placement, it makes for a much nicer pulling trailer. The other thing I'll point out here is the perimeter skirting package. So the trim actually kicks down in front and behind the tires, and it gives a very distinct look to the trailer going down the road. But it also provides this reverse beaver tail in the rear of the trailer. So you can kind of tell it actually kicks up in the rear. The trim actually swoops up and protects your rear end from dragging. We also put some skid plates here to protect that as well. Now just out of the range finder here, just at the top of the screen, you can see we've got nice LED lights on this side of the trailer that are run 12 volt off a switch from the inside of the trailer. In fact, all of the lighting on this trailer are LED. So the clearance lights, the marker lights, tail lights, these lights here, the interior lights, all 12 volt LED. If you've seen any of our other videos, you're gonna know that we love these stainless steel paddle latches that lock the door in place. So they're just a nice locking mechanism. It does away with that old school bar lock that you've seen on all sorts of other trailers. Opening up our ramp door, we've got a dual spring assist, which makes the ramp nice and light, dropping it down to the ground. Now what comes standard with the ramp door is just your standard extended flap. Now if you've got a really low profile vehicle, we can add extended flaps onto this particular ramp. The ramp door and the inside of the trailer is covered with a coin rubber flooring and it's got a nice texture to it which provides some grip even under wet conditions. The, the ramp door itself has what's called a gapless continuous hinge. So it's just a simple piece of rubber covering the hinge piece here and it protects dirt and debris from dropping down into this hinge here. Nice stainless steel rear corners as well and dual LED turn signals. Moving inside the trailer, we've got some recessed D-rings. There are four of them total that come out of the standard package. One popular upgrade is to add some E-Track in the floor, which comes in really handy when you want multiple tie-down points. See, the interior walls are made out of aluminum. So you've got white aluminum walls, white aluminum ceiling. Now, another popular upgrade is if you were to order a trailer, you can change the wall and the ceiling color to silver. Now, you throw that in with your black cove that you see here, the black cabinets up front, and the dark flooring, silver wall, silver ceiling, makes for a really distinct look inside the trailer. Lights on the inside ceiling here are recessed and 12 volt. Now what that simply tells us is that that's all run off of a battery that's mounted underneath the base cabinet up front here. So you've got a switch on the wall, turns your lights on and off, as well as the exterior lights on the outside, and that is all completely run off a battery that charges from your vehicle, or when you plug into a power source, it'll charge that battery. Now, if the battery powers your lights, then what powers these receptacles? So we've got three receptacles inside and one on the exterior. Now, if you plug into your motor base plug on the outside that we talked about at the very beginning 
of the video, then that's what's gonna power your resources on the inside. So let's say you wanna plug in a clock radio, you can do that here. But again, to run, have lighting on the inside, just run off your battery. Now the battery is housed in this base cabinet here. Uh, you've got a nice aluminum shelf on the inside, an aluminum countertop on top, and ample storage underneath. Since this is a 24-foot trailer, you won't see a generator compartment built in here. Usually we do that standard on a 28-foot trailer and larger. But of course, if your car is short enough to warrant a generator compartment here, we can always order that trailer for you to accommodate that. Of course, we're showing our cabinet color in black. Now we can change that color. Let's say you've got a red car and you want red cabinets. Doesn't cost anything more to do that. It's just a matter of ordering a trailer to your needs. The overhead cabinets here have a top hinge on it. It lifts the doors up and out of the way so you're not hitting your head on the swinging uh, cabinet doors like I've done three or four hundred times.